for another braces checkup. It's been 14 months since we started this. I was quoted 12 to 15 months. I have a feeling that they're going to tell me today that next appointment will not be the appointment to remove these jokers. I'm curious if they're just going to change out the power chains or if they're going to do that and add any additional stuff to it. Generally, you're supposed to have um, rubber bands closer to the end of the journey and I am over these braces and yeah, they need to do something soon. So, I'm wondering what color should I do this time? Hubby picked pink last time. I think we, I think we might go with black. Um, we don't know, but got to put on my handy dandy mask to go into a place that I got to take it off for y'all to open my to go inside my mouth so I'm not understanding why I'm putting the mask on in the first place but so my mouth hurts y'all he just went in there and he told me he's still trying to close space for this tooth that tooth right there and he put some bins in the bottom wire. I got a new wire and new power chain on the bottom because he wants to rotate this too. I asked, so when is this process going to be over with? And I was told, oh, in a few months. So not even given a time frame. I said, well, am I going to have to wear the rubber bands? And she said, probably not, because he's just working on closing your gap. So you're telling me that my overbite has been fixed because you closed gaps in my teeth. So when I did my, um, not my consultation, but the appointment that you do after they do your x-rays and you do your with your records appointment which is what they call it at my orthodontist office after they did the uh, um they went over my treatment plan that's what it was so when we went over the appointment for them to go over our treatment plan they told me everything that i would have to have and elastics was in there so i don't know if miss Susie doesn't know what's in my file and she just shooting shit out her asshole i don't know Plus, I don't think that she knew what she was doing to a certain extent because I've never one been in there more than 20 minutes. And two, she was struggling. She was struggling with putting in my, my wire, my bottom wire. And to the point where she was stabbing me with the instrument and she kept looking at me, I was jumping and she's like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So I was glad when she finally just was like, asked the lady that was beside us, could she come help her? Because she was struggling. The orthodontist that normally sees me, he didn't see me today. I saw someone else. I have seen this guy before, but I've seen it was just somebody else. So it was weird because I'm used to a certain person. But my mouth is on sore. I need to go in my purse and get some lip, some lip gloss or some chapstick or something. Because the way that she had my mouth held open, it was hurting. And don't get me wrong, I normally have my mouth hurting when I leave out of the appointment, but this one hurts unrealistically. So, long story short, we're not doing the removal at month 15. Um, I feel like technically in their mind, I've only had them on for 13 months, not 14 because I didn't go to the orthodontist for a whole month due to COVID. They were shut down and it was only emergency procedures at that point. I'm ready to, to get them off, not because they're aggravating. I'm ready to get them off because I'm ready to move to the next phase of what I'm going to do with my dental hygiene. And 
now, you know, speaking with my dentist and getting the three teeth that I'm missing on the bottom replaced so that I can have full access to my mouth. My husband's gotten dental work and I'm a little jealous because he's gotten his bridge and I'm still missing teeth. So when they, I grind my teeth and they redid it and I've been rocking, the, I went back down a step and I've been rocking the same wire. So yeah, um, I am very just eager to move on, like I said, to another phase in this whole dental hygiene uh, process of my life and I'm beginning to you know do other journeys and start on the journey other journeys that I will be sharing so stay tuned